Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 15.1. In this video, I will show you guys everything that you will need to know regarding iOS 15.1 before you update your device. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a quick favor. Make sure you smash the like button of this video. That's really, really helpful and will help this video and this channel do much, much better. So don't forget to leave a like before you close this video. First of all, we're talking about performance. So iOS 15.1 is very, very similar to iOS 15 when it comes to performance. At least that's what the Geekbench test says. Now you can see right here, we have the history of the tests. And at the top, you can see right there, this is iOS 15.1. And this right here is iOS 15. Now taking a look at the scores, you can see 1,599 on the single core score. And we have here 1,604 on 15.1 a slight improvement but then we see here a slight decrease on the multi-core score where we have 4120 right there for the 15.1 and we have 4195 right there for ios 15 so kind of similar performance of course ios 15 is actually pretty pretty good on performance of course due to the fact that apple has just basically polished ios 14 not make any like major changes to ios 15 that's why we have a very stable and a, a software that actually performs very very good Moving on to battery life, now just like performance, battery life will be basically the same as iOS 15.0, 15.0.1 or 15.0.2, whichever software you have currently installed on your device. Now again, just like performance, battery is still the same. I had basically the same experience from iOS 15 up to iOS 15.1. I have used this for a few days and I didn't see any like major changes when it comes to battery life not like any decreases or any like battery drains or stuff like that but of, of course also not like huge improvements of battery life so if you're taking a look at performance or battery life just expect to have the basically same experience just like on ios 15 15.0.1 15.0.2 and the same will be on 15.1 as well iOS 15.1 of course has quite a few new features as well and we're going to talk about all of those in a second here but first of all we're going to talk about a bug so if you have been experiencing the storage full bug on iOS 15 Apple has stated that they have fixed that basically when you go to your iPhone storage you will see that your storage is full you will get the message that the storage of your iPhone is full even though you have enough free storage now we're getting here reports that are basically contradictional we have some that say it has been fixed and some people are still experiencing this problem even though they have been on ios 15.1 beta so basically your iphone will tell you that you have not enough free storage when you have plenty of free storage that's a bug that apple stated that they have fixed again but reports are mixed and some say that it is fixed maybe this is like on device basis and some say that that they still are experiencing this bug even though they are on ios 15.1 Moving on to the new features of iOS 15.1. Now, one of the biggest, of course, SharePlay has been brought back to iOS 15. If you know, SharePlay basically lets you share your screen with people that you're talking on FaceTime, maybe your music you're listening to, or movies you're watching. That is a big feature that Apple has introduced on WWDC 2021, but they actually removed it on the initial release of iOS 15, and it makes now a comeback with the release of iOS 15.1. There are some UI changes as well. We have now a new icon for announce call on the settings app. Another change on the settings app is on the camera settings. So if you go to camera right here, you would see on iOS 15 live text. And this was the button to actually enable or disable live text for your camera. And now it says show detected text that has been changed with iOS 15.1. Moving on to the photos app, we have a couple of changes here as well. When you're searching for something, now you will get suggested searches right there. So if I search for pet right there, you can see it shows me the suggestions and I can go ahead and choose whichever one I want from them. And of course, search them if I want to, or just tap the search button to keep searching for whatever I was searching. And when you go to now edit one of your photos, you will see here the filters have a new icon 
on the editing UI right here on the Photos app. You can notice right here that it has been changed and it has a slight redesign with 15.1. You now get a redesigned icon for the pop-up that you get when your Apple Watch is fully charged. So if you have an Apple Watch, you place it on the charger. Once it's fully charged, you get a notification. And that's the pop-up that you get. And now it has been redesigned. Also, we have here a new feature for notify when left behind. And this one is for the AirPods. So if you have your AirPods and you have not connected them recently, to your iPhone, this feature will basically be paused. So that's a new thing, new feature that Apple has added to iOS 15.1. On the calendar app, when you go to your calendars, you can see right here, they actually have a, like these colors that identify them. If you tap the little I button, you can go ahead and tap on color right there. And now you have custom colors. So you can basically choose any of the colors that you want and add them to your calendar. So right there, you can customize the color for that calendar. Custom colors, just pick any color that you like. There is another change on the weather app as well. So if you go to the weather app and let's say you tap right here to see the temperature or maybe the air quality, you will notice right here, there is now like this light mode that Apple has added with iOS 15.1. Now taking a look at these on iOS 15.0 or 15.0.1, you will notice that these are actually all in some kind of like dark mode and now you will get like this light mode right here with iOS 15.1. And in my opinion, it looks much, much better. Like if you have iOS 15, this will be this whole UI right here will actually be on dark mode and it doesn't matter whether your device is on dark mode or not. But with iOS 15.1, that now has been fixed. And now let's talk about the release date of iOS 15.1 to the public. So iOS 15.1 is set to be released on the week starting right here, Monday, October 25th. It will be released that week. In my opinion, it should be released on the 26th. Now, right now we know exactly the week which it will be released and that's the, basically the last week of October and it starts on the 25th. I doubt Apple will release it on a Monday, expect it to be on a Tuesday or maybe even Wednesday. So on one of these dates, 26th or 27th, you will have iOS 15.1 come to your device as an update. And of course, you should install this update to your device. Of course, iOS 15.15 15 actually hasn't been like accepted that much from iPhone users because it lacks big features and of course, big changes that we all wanted it, but it's still a great update. And of course, if you have it already on your device, I suggest to go ahead and install iOS 15.1 as well. And last but not least, we're talking about future updates. Now with iOS 15.1, we had like a few different changes, but nothing big except the new share play basically feature that Apple has re-enabled on iOS 15. We don't have any big new features that have come out with iOS 15.1. So expect iOS 15.2 beta to come really, really soon, maybe as soon as next week, and we should get more new features with this update. As I said, with iOS 15.1, we don't get a lot of features, just a, sm a few small like UI changes and that's all about it. But with 15.2, I expect Apple to actually release quite a lot of new features and that should be really, really exciting. And of course, maybe even make more people update to iOS 15. So that's about it for this video, guys. This is everything that you need to know regarding iOS 15.1 before you install it on your device. It should come out in about 10 days from now. So I suggest you go ahead and update once it comes out that's it thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one